this is the heart of our story. Golu and Raji, brother and sister. This was their whole world. This one small carnival. The other performers were their friends, their only family. This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. "Did you forget little brother?" she asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand. for it was the feast of rakshabandhan although it was a feast day they still had coins to earn so raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd while golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands a long long time ago a demon did penance for showing such devotion brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all upon receiving He united the demons to wage a war. Bhumi Devi urged him to stop. He killed her ruthlessly without thought. This angered Shiva greatly and he stomped dividing the continents and the demons were forever lost but as he spoke the skies darkened and the earth shook and other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd These were not masks. This was not a child's tale. As the demons turned to slaughter, Raji tried to reach her brother. He'd been hurt and he was scared, and she knew she must protect him. But in that moment Raji failed for the Garasura demons took Golu from her Raji awake my child
is this place? She is so young. A child. Remember Shiva's words. It is so much weight to put on the shoulders of a mortal. Is this one strong enough? Time will tell. Her brother and the other children had been seized by the Garasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her journey would be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. This, with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. <laughs> 